Hello, my name is Adam Henderson and I'm a master's student studying music production and I'm running for the wellbeing and community officer role. Hello, my name is Rebecca and I'm 22 years old and I am in my final year of studies for marketing and advertising management at Leeds Beckett obviously. <laughs> um, I actually really want this change, I really want this role because I want to change things as a welfare and community officer because yes, things have changed but in certain areas there's nothing being done, especially towards BM communities and the LGBTQ+, because there's just not enough support for the well-being of the students that are fitting into that category and also there's just not enough in place for people with mental health issues because it's hard to reach out to people, but obviously with someone who I've personally still experienced and have experienced mental health problems, I feel that I'm suitable for the role because I can relate to it. I know how certain people think. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a third year law student at Leeds Beckett and I've been a student ambassador and a course ambassador for the last two years. And I'm hoping to be elected as the welfare and community officer in the Leeds Beckett Student Union. My name is Brendan Burr. I'm 22 years old and I've finished a Bachelor of Honours degree in Sociology and Criminology. I would like to be that I am, and people see me, as a hard-working, approachable and caring individual. Though I have always been interested in making situations and society as fair and enjoyable for everyone as possible. In my final year, I took the opportunity to complete a dissertation investigating the University of Leeds and Leeds Beckett through experiences of working class students, comparing the two to decipher ways in which Leeds Beckett can adapt to become more equitable and guarantee not a single student who attends this university feels excluded or alienated at any point. Higher education has a lot to offer not just in academics, but within the wider student culture. And I would like to ensure that every individual, every student makes the absolute most of it. Hi students, I'm Kiran Kumar. I am doing my MBA and I am from India. I am here contesting in this election for the post of welfare and community officer. So, I will request all of you to participate in the election and I also request you to elect me as your welfare and community officer and I also request you to vote for me and I will be there with you for all your fights, for all your rights. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm a second year filmmaking student, originally from Liverpool, but now I live in Leeds. Um, I'm a course ref on my course, so you know I'm used to listening to what my peers have to say and taking that to meetings. Um, I've got a real passion for social issues and things we could do to tackle them. Um, I studied psychology and sociology at A level, so that sort of has informed my interest in that area. Um, and I think the, the needs of students have changed and is ch rapidly changing in these times and we need support that recognises that. Um, and mental health is really at the core of everything we do. It trickles down into every aspect of life. So I think that really should be our starting point for improving student life. Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm running for your Welfare and Community Officer this year. I'm a third year sociology student and I've worked with the Students' Union before part-time and I've also been a course representative. I'm really excited to run this year. Hello, my name is Rosemary Van Zemeke and I'm a Nigerian and I'm a master's degree student in health and safety. I'm running for the post of the Welfare and Community Development Officer. I believe I can engage with current and future students to tackle welfare and community related issues. I am a service oriented individual and um, I always, I believe in being part of the change I want to see in a community. My past experience as a programs a manager availed me the opportunity to develop my interpersonal relationship, my communication and people's management skills. Guys, I might not have all the answers to the questions right now, but I believe I solicit for your votes to come into office and I know that we can all work together to find answers to the unending questions we have in our minds. So vote for Rosie for the position of welfare and community development officer.